Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about whether you're ready to get a Belgian Shepherd or not. You know, we've been getting a lot of questions from people who are considering getting a Belgian Shepherd, but they're not sure if the breed is the right choice for them, uh, if they can meet the dog's needs, if they have enough time, and that's why I decided to make this video. Belgian Shepherds are awesome dogs, but they can sometimes be a handful and there are things that you should ask yourself before you start looking for a puppy. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video. I'm gonna ask you five questions and if you can answer all of those questions with a yes, then most likely you're ready to welcome a Belgian Shepherd into your life. And at the end of the video, I also have a bonus question for you, something that we hadn't done before we got Rancho. So stick around till the end of the video if you wanna know what it is. Before we start, don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful. And if you like this kind of content, definitely consider subscribing. Okay, so the first question is actually two questions in one. Are you an active person? And do you have two extra hours a day? These dogs do have an off switch, but it only works if all their physical and mental needs are met. A short walk around the block is just not gonna cut it for them. They love to run and they need to let their endless energy out. You should be able to take the dog on long walks, hikes, or go running. Basically, just do something active with them. If you're a lazy couch potato, it's not a good idea to get a Belgian Shepherd. And also, they need a job to do, meaning some mental stimulation on top of their physical activity. Uh, it can be so many things. It can be obedience, trick training, agility, bite work, nose work. There are so many options. It just all depends on your preferences. A physical and mental exercise often overlap. So, for instance, you know, doing agility or bite work are great examples of, of how you can tire your dog both physically and mentally. Or also on your daily walks, you may just throw in a bit of obedience training or some tricks. These dogs will often even ask for it. Rancho does that by picking up a stick and poking me with it. And that's how I know that he's had enough of running and sniffing around and he needs to have some interaction with me. And he does that on every single walk. Uh, you know, some dogs are happy if you just let them sniff and run off leash and you can happily walk and look around. But Belgian Shepherds need a bit more of your active participation. Also, most dog sports combine mental and physical exercise. Even just having your dog pull you in sports such as canny cross or bike joring is good mental exercise because the dog has to ignore all the smells and things happening around and has to only focus on your commands and pulling. And it's actually really hard for them mentally. So you don't need to buy expensive brain games or teach your dog to play the piano. Sometimes just taking your dog to new places and giving them a chance to explore and sniff everything is an excellent form of mental stimulation. So I think as long as you're an active person and you include your Belgian Shepherd in your daily activities, you're going to have a happy dog. If you can do more than two hours a day, I think it's even better, but two hours of physical and mental stimulation, in my opinion, uh, can keep a Belgian Shepherd happy. You know, sometimes life gets in the way and you may not even have that much time. But if your dog normally gets what they need, they'll forgive you for only giving them an hour from time to time. But from my experience, if instead of a 60 minute walk, I just take Rancho out for 20 minutes, he gets very restless in the afternoon. And if he doesn't get his second walk or run, I need to at least do some obedience and trick training with him. And the next day we have to make up for that. All right, question number two. Are you willing to spend money on dog training? Unless you're an experienced dog handler, you're gonna need to spend some money on dog training. These dogs need to learn some discipline. They need to have at least some basic obedience. And while I think every dog should go through basic training, Belgian Shepherds especially, because they're big, high energy dogs and they can be intimidating at times. You can't just let them do whatever they want. Uh, with Rancho, we did basic obedience training and then we went on to do some more advanced training. For a while, we even competed in obedience, not because he still needed it. I think that what he learned during his first year was just enough for our everyday life. But, you know, I saw how much he enjoyed training and how well he was doing. So we continued training him until he was about three years old. Then we stopped mainly because of the lack of time. 
If I could recommend just three things you should teach your dog, it would be a reliable recall, a reliable stay or place, and heal. These three commands are so important in our everyday life and for your dog to learn these reliably, I think it's better to work with a dog trainer. Especially with, with recall, being first time Belgian Shepherd owners, we would have never been able to teach ranchers such a good recall without the help of a dog trainer. Question number three, are you ready for a new family member? These dogs are extremely attached to their owners and they will require a lot of your attention, time and care. They don't tolerate being left alone for long periods of time. They just need to be a part of your life. Getting a Belgian Shepherd is a huge commitment. That little puppy that you're thinking of getting might live to be 12 to 15 years old and even more if you're lucky. It's sort of like marriage by adopting a Belgian Shepherd or any dog for that matter. You're committing to be there for them, for better, for worse. Whatever happens in your life, the dog will be there and you'll have to take care of them and give them all that they need. When Rancho broke his leg and he couldn't run for months, I started noticing changes in his behavior. Even though we did a lot of brain games, uh, it just wasn't enough. He started barking and growling at some people, chewing up his bed, going crazy on the leash. So I guess that's a great example of what could happen if you suddenly stopped giving your Belgian Shepherd what they require. You know, you may have a baby or change a job, but no matter what happens, you should always be able to give the dog the exercise and mental stimulation that they require and simply just treat them like a proper family member. And what you get in return is a loyal friend that'll give you unconditional love. They'll make you laugh and they'll be by your side, whatever happens. So make sure you can do the same for them. If you think that maybe in the future, something will change and you're not gonna have as much time for the dog, I don't think it's a good idea to get a Belgian Shepherd. Question number four, do you like walks in bad weather? <laughs> Yeah, because when the weather is beautiful, dog walking is probably the best part of your day, right? But when it's cold and raining, sleeting, or when it's super hot outside, you might prefer skipping the walk altogether on such days, but not with a Belgian Shepherd. With these dogs, you need to be ready to go for walks in all kinds of weather, because no matter the weather, uh, they still need an outlet for their energy. The Belgian Shepherd was bred to hurt sheep. It's a double-coated breed and usually they pay no attention to rain, blowing wind or very cold temperatures. Maybe if it's storming or pouring with rain, you may be able to skip a day and only go for short walks and come up with alternative activities to keep your dog entertained. But after that, you'll have no other choice than to embrace the rain and accept the fact that you'll return from the walk soaking wet or covered in mud. There are times when Rancho has to get a shower after every walk and there's no point in cleaning our shoes anymore because we know that the next day they'll look exactly the same. So you should also be ready for that. Question number five, do you love dog hair? I think this is clear. The Belgian Shepherd, as I said, is a double coated breed and they shed twice a year in the spring, which is the heaviest shedding season and in the fall. They also shed moderately throughout the year. So you need to be ready for that. And then you have two choices. You can either get used to the hair or vacuum and clean up every day. Regular brushing helps a lot. So yeah, be ready for that. And if you want to know what brush works best for us, check out our video about dog brushes. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. And the last bonus question is, are you ready to do your research before you get a Belgian Shepherd? Uh, you know, there are four varieties of the Belgian Shepherd and even within those varieties, there are a lot of differences. There are show and working lines, they're bred for different traits. So it's really important for you to do some research and find out as much as you can about the breed or your variety so that you can find the perfect fit for you. Before we got Rancho, I had no idea working line Belgian Turvierance existed. Uh, I clearly didn't do enough research, so please don't make that mistake. Even though we are very happy with Rancho, we're so lucky to have him and he really is a great dog. 
we wouldn't change him for the world. We basically just chose him because at the time his breeder had puppies available, his parents had all the health tests required by the Belgian Shepherd Club, and we really wanted a puppy, and I don't think this is how it should be done. Also, it's super important to learn about the breed's health. Although generally they're considered a healthy breed, Belgian Shepherds may suffer from gastric cancer, epilepsy, ataxia, thyroid problems, and, and other things. If you want to get a puppy, learn about these things as well. Again, to give you an example, we didn't do a lot of research before choosing Rancho. We knew about epilepsy, that's true. But later we found out that Rancho's grandmother on his mother's side died of gastric cancer at the age of nine, which unfortunately is known to be hereditary. So uh, if we'd known that, would we have chosen him? I don't know, you know. On the other hand, his grandfather lived till the age of 15 and a half. And I know you can not get rid of all the diseases at once. That would be the end of breeding. But now with all the information that's available, I think breeders should make informed decisions based on that. And they should always put health first. And if people support the breeders that do that, it will do the whole breed a great service. So these were my six questions I think you should definitely ask yourself before you get a Belgian Shepherd. If your answer to all of these questions was a yes, I think you might be ready to get a little cute Belgian puppy or to rescue an adult that needs a new home too. Uh, obviously there are many other things that you should consider, but if I talked about everything this video would take an hour. But if you know of any other things that you think people should know before getting a Belgian Shepherd, please leave a comment down below. Uh, we hope this video was useful. Don't forget to hit the like button if it was and we will see you next time.